Welcome to Postscript from Faithbridge Church. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the message by sitting down with the teacher of the day. Hi, and thanks for joining us for another Postscript. My name is Justin Teague. I'm the worship and communications pastor here, and I'm with Dan Slagle, uh, who just finished preaching part three of our New Year series called breathing room. Thanks for being here, Dan. Yeah. I'm actually going to go right into it. Uh, one of our postcard questions that came in uh, while you were preaching during the nine o'clock sermon question was, what would your encouragement be for someone who has been in community before, but has been wronged or deeply hurt and are now skeptical to try it again? Sure. Well, the, the short answer and then the longer answer. Uh, my encouragement would be try it again. Uh, here's why. I think we always need to remember that because we live in a broken world composed of sinful human beings, the possibility is ever present for uh, confusion, misunderstanding, hurt feelings. That, that sort of goes along with life. Mm. But that does not in and of itself cancel out the value of good community, nor the imperative that I think we find in God's Word to, to be in that community. I mean, there, there is not any reference in Scripture to be in community unless it goes south. Uh, that, that sort of escape hatch isn't there. Uh, a, a possible analogy would be, uh, I remember as a kid very well, the first time that I had to take penicillin, it was in liquid form. It was horrible. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, but I'm so glad that my mother persisted and made me take the penicillin. In a similar way, uh, community is a vital for our spiritual health. and. If you've had a bad experience, my heart goes out to you. I've been a part of groups that didn't go so well myself. But let's not use that as an opportunity to miss out on uh, the good that can come from these and walk in obedience to what I think Scripture clearly teaches we should make a priority in our lives. That's good. And right there along the, the series, uh, theme of breathing room. I think so many of us, me included, can go into these situations kicking and screaming. And then once you're there, you go, wow. Yeah, this, this really, how did I live without this? Sure. So a couple of bad experiences shouldn't dissuade you from doing that. Exactly. I think that, that's probably what Luann would say if she were here. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of breathing room, mm -hmm. uh, where are we headed now? What we, Give us a little recap of where we've been and where, where we're headed. Okay, so Ken got us off to a great start talking about the importance of the, uh, the vertical relationship, our relationship with God and cultivating that. Uh, then we talked about the relationship we have with material things, specifically money, and how a right relationship there can create breathing room. Today I talked about the horizontal relationship with, with other people and how that's an important component. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about developing uh, a posture and attitude of, of gratitude and how that perspective can go a long way toward helping us enjoy a quality of life that ungrateful people never, ever get to experience. So that, that's up for next Sunday. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Me too. And thanks for joining us for another Postscript. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org forward slash postscript.